Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 23 for Hotel Maintenance System in Django with Next.js. In this video, we will work on the uh, forget password functionality, right? So what we will do when we click on when user click on the forget password, here user will fill the mobile number. So first of all, we need to change this label and input to mobile number, and after that, uh, he will send the uh, we will send the OTP we will uh, in this uh, project we are not actually sending the otp but we will create the just uh, demo page for the otp you know for the demo otp but in the live you can attach the sms gateway right and uh, then after the otp uh, confirmation uh, user can change the password we will show the two fields where user can uh, uh, only one field i think so user will enter the new password and then the login right so this is the process that we are going to do in this uh, forget password so first of all let, let's change this uh, uh, forget password label so let's open the folder right so here we are here youtube videos drf this one right so let's open this okay it's opening now we will go to user not user we will go to forget password so let's see where is the forget password here right it's a page and this should be mobile placeholder is mobile correct and uh, type will be number correct and if uh, this is uh, if mobile is not exist then we will show the error right so let's uh, start working on this right all right so what we will do here we have a page so let's uh, open the open our login page right login component sorry so login component and uh, we have a success message we have an error message we don't need the success message actually because we will redirect the page we need error message we also need to define this uh, use client component because we need to we are using the user state right and uh, we'll import this here correct uh, we need to handle the form so what I will do I will copy this form right we will see that how we can handle this uh we'll paste here right and uh, in the login we have this sign up forget password submit button uh, let's say its name here name is mobile correct and we just need to capture the mobile right no need for password and all so api we will say mobile validate correct method post we are sending the data uh, no need for token right and uh, no need for this one if success is okay then we will send a use we will send this to mobile otp validation correct mobile otp validation we will send this else we will show the error no need for success message sorry right and uh, all of this okay so now let's create this api when we when we hit submit then uh, we will send the mobile number and we will work uh, we will match in our database right so let's work on this api so here what we will do let's go to let's go to backend and uh, similarly like we created for our uh, you know login what is this learn more in english i will remove this okay so we'll copy this paste here close this uh what is the url mobile validate right so mobile validate we will say mobile validate view right and let's open the view so
so here we have user login so we'll copy this right api view we have mobile validate okay so user login serializer so let's create the serializer for the mobile so let's copy this one user mobile serializer only right so just mobile copy this right here our data serializer is valid then we will match the mobile and then user and uh, if we will see if profile if profile then if not profile actually if if profile not exist then the error will be true right and the error will uh, if not profile then we will say this one else yeah this is fine actually actually we should remove this and just say if not profile then we will say error equal to mobile number not exist right and uh, here right so try user no need to remove this actually we have already no right so if if this is exists then we will just give the error right and by default the error will be null right so if error is null then it means uh, mobile exists and we will we can show the otp page right so user mobile serializer here we have everything is set up now let's check it right so i will open this one network and uh, one more thing that we need i need to set so this is call md6 this is call md6 call md6 this is call md6 this is submit button 12 uh let's say 8 right actually if what if say i 12 let's say 10 oh 8 is fine okay so mobile number right and uh, submit what is this oh okay so like we have this one we need to define the form here form action actually so this form is go to here right correct correct now define the form submit what it is saying uh, it is redirect to the mobile otp validation right so we need to create this uh, view right and uh, it will work correct just otp validation no need to mobile otp validation we can just say otp validation right so let's do that let's create this uh, route and page where we will fill the otp number then it will uh, show the form correct right so let's go to here let's create the folder uh, not here in the user in the user user forget password uh, let's say user okay so what we will say otp validation otp validation and then in this we will create file page.js correct and in this page.js we will copy this one paste here right 
and uh, we will say enter OTP correct OTP type number name OTP correct placeholder star 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 correct and uh, yeah this is uh, fine right and uh, we will see this later but uh, currently we need to redirect this user right so let's say OTP OTP validation okay let's rename this oh it should be user OTP validation okay so enter OTP and uh, it should work okay so here we need to little bit modify this user OTP validation correct so after filling this uh, number we will check here if the number is one two three four specific number then we will redirect user to uh, the change password change password form right so we'll say here OTP OTP API will be OTP validate right application is correct and we'll say change password user change password actually user change password correct everything else will be okay we will create the form later but yes so error message set error message okay we are not showing error message here okay uh, but we should show let's uh, go to login and uh, somewhere we should show the error message we are not showing the error message let's go to sign up page uh, sign up page okay form where we are showing here so copy this close close otp validation in the form of uh, in the row so here right here we can show the error message same for the uh, forgot password correct so this will be before correct so here <coughs> okay so error message okay so otp we are we are the position of otp validation correct so after sending this otp validation uh it will uh, redirect to change form okay so let's create the url and view otp validate otp validate we will create here otp validation we will create here otp validate one minute okay so otp validate here here uh we need to also create the mobile otp serializer right so mobile otp serializer correct so let's go here and here here sorry so copy this one this one copy this this we will say OTP data and this is OTP actually we will copy this one and we will see here if equal to one two three four then error equal to uh, OTP not correct right so OTP validation is this correct so now let's test it here okay so let's test it 
so we'll say one two three four correct and uh, submit so what it is saying change password it means it is going correct okay so if i say here four five six submit oh it's still going to change password okay so we will go here okay it's saying response is okay okay let's say a response data correct and uh, we'll put the password here let's remove this location thing right and uh, let's put this so otp is not correct so we'll see here if if a response dot error not equal to empty then this else else no need for this response dot error correct okay and the same thing we will do in the forgot password correct so if i submit this what is this okay so let's see this it's going to it's going to change okay it's going to changing the form it's not if equal equal to empty sorry if empty then it is it should be redirect right otp is not correct but why this is showing the message here uh, one minute forget password enter otp okay so it should be here in the handle form if i put here then if i see here okay so it is uh, okay let's let's open the sign up page and we'll see how this is okay so this is uh, error message and before this everything is fine well, then why oh i understand because submit why this is going to down if error message is here if copy this one and if i put in the form still going to here let's check it row this one oh this alert becoming out of the row okay but why this is this alert goes to out of the diff but why div class name alert this div close it should not let's see submit okay i'll see this but uh, the main thing is our uh, error is uh, uh, sorry we are showing the error not sure why this is coming uh, i don't want to spend so much time on this but yes uh, we are on the right track okay so if i go to login if i go to forget password and if i say mobile number incorrect then invalid mobile right only the sign up is not uh, oh sorry only the otp is not going correct so for mobile forget password submit why this is not going uh false let's see this network copy submit mobile error is null 
so if error is this then user change password it should go to change password mobile validate and uh, error is null uh, we will say if or error equal equal to null then submit then we have a response error equal to null yeah this is fine forget password user change password we don't have user change password but it should show now okay so let's see it should go to mobile validate sorry uh, OTP validation OTP validate mobile validate sorry this is forget password submit invalid mobile mobile validate should be OTP validate now should be user mobile validate go to user mobile validate login otp validate mobile validate let's check it uh, we should have OTP validation actually OTP validation right uh, OTP validation mobile validate do we have mobile validate from where we are doing this one minute sorry okay so it should go to otp validation one minute here okay so login forget password submit otp validation two three five okay so it's uh, here we have otp validation then we will go to change password all right so let's go to otp validation let's go to f12 a little bit confusing one minute submit otp validate preview page not found which page not found mm. uh, we should have this should be otp validation right so we'll go here submit otp is not correct we'll say one two three four submit what it is saying now submit see error is not okay so if i see here error equal equal to empty or error equal equal to null right then we can go to change password submit change password now we can create the change password okay so for change password what we will do here so like we created the otp validation and all we'll create the change password right change password right and uh, we'll create here file page dot js correct and here we will copy this and paste here right and uh, we'll say change password change password correct so 
I'm not sure why we use the mobile validate API. Actually, we should use the forget password, but uh, we are using the mobile validate. Okay, no problem. All right, so OTP validation, it will, okay, mobile validate we are using for the mobile validation on the forget password, I think. Okay, it's clear. So change password, okay. So we need to send the password field. Password, first of all, we'll create the, let's create this one. View, uh, sorry, URL. We'll say change password change password view change password view create the view change password all right change password view here we will add the password okay so let's copy this one not this one let's say let's copy this one right and we'll paste here right and okay so this is the tricky part we'll come to this but first of all let's create the serializer right so this will copy so wh what we will say here change password serializer change password serializer correct so this is password correct okay so in the change password we also need to let's check it the change password okay so in the change password we need to add the mobile number also right we need to okay one minute in the change password we need to send the password and uh, we also need the mobile number correct so what we will do here one minute let me check it so after filling the OTP we have we should have this enter this password right this password type is password name is password and then submit we'll submit this here the change password view and when we post then we need to match this password we also need the mobile number because we need to change the password for that particular mobile number right so let me do one thing right let let's do one thing in the page forget dot uh, uh, sorry in the forget password page after this uh, if success then we will say local storage dot set item uh, forget we'll say forget mobile forget mobile is forget mobile is fd dot mobile correct this should be stringy file correct it should be like this right because we need to save the stringy file this way correct and when we change the password then we will send this right so it should be constant mobile is local storage dot get item and from there we will get the or get mobile correct here and then this one will send here so this one we will send in the change password api right so url and this view and here one more thing we need to add in the serializer mobile correct so these two things sorry 
right uh, mobile and password okay correct so change password so we have mm -hmm. change password clearly this should be password right it's password okay so form dot get data this one change password it will change password then it will go to user dashboard or it will go to user login actually correct so when we submit this it should go let's go to view then we have this mobile mobile this password uh, token okay so token if not created then it will create else it will say mobile number not exist and then uh if error is null let's see what it is sending response token uh we'll say here if error, if this is uh, redirecting then we will remove this from the local storage oh sorry it should be get item no we will say remove item okay all right so and one more thing enter password should be let's define this as a login login here right so this is the process first of all forget password let's add the enter otp change password so i will say another password submit expect token so what is the issue okay let's see what is the issue submit change password mobile expect a number but got this one okay view okay so mobile field should is uh, mobile field is big integer okay we need to convert this as a int of course i will convert this to int okay right let's see now so password is this submit still uh, uh, mm. so this is saying it should be let's change it uh, profile field should be character field so it will not null equal to true mobile is this okay let me change this migration sorry py manage dot py make migrations py manage dot py migrate py manage dot py run server all right so let's test one more time let's see invalid in okay when no need for int here now okay so check it now again submit invalid mobile what we are sending okay in the mobile we are sending this one let's see here in the change password in the mobile we are sending json okay mm -hmm. json we are sending but it's converting to string the double quotes 
okay so let's start the process again so here we have a mobile we will enter wrong otp it will show the otp not correct we will enter right otp change password we will enter the password and it will go to login it means it's working okay but uh, i'm not stringify it i'm just sending this data right so in the change password we need to change the password if user check password is correct then uh, it is redirecting but uh, we will not redirect it let's let me check this again so we will what we are doing here so if user dot profile if uh, okay if user dot if this user exists then what we will do user dot password equal to make password and uh, we will add the password here right and user dot say correct else else invalid mobile invalid invalid details you can see right so now let's go to forget password submit otp password what it is saying now submit change password object object okay so it is saying detail if error is it should be what should be return here mm, error is none but it is expecting that we should return something token no token let's say json parse error payload console add quest expecting value line one column this what should we do here we don't need the token post and mobile and this what if i say here okay no need for token we just need to return the uh what we will what we are saying here if uh this one if user then uh, we are sending this password okay let's see now again change the password let's print this is it returning something or not submit bad request let's go to change password console dot response data okay uh, let's see let's see here submit console detail let me check it okay so i found the mistake the mistake was here uh, when we are actually when we are saving the data into the local storage then we are stringify so similarly when we are fetching the data we should also parse this as a json right so now let's uh, do that so first of all we'll go to the sign up from login uh, forget password enter the mobile number right submit enter the otp submit enter the new password submit right now let's log in with this again with the old password 
sorry without old password uh this old password should not work not sure why this is working so it means the user password is saved but it is not actually reflected let's go to forget password again uh, let me do one more thing if the change password let's uh, stop the redirection also stop to removing the data from the local storage let's go this thing again and let's enter the otp let's enter the password again right submit change password error is null mobile is this password is this right so we are entering this password correct and uh, error is null means everything is fine so error null means everything is fine so now when i submit this when i submit this then it should not log in with the another password so let's go to sign up again login let's enter the mobile number let's enter any of the password submit it is going to dashboard it means something is problem in our login right so if i go to the user login login.js it's going to user dashboard right let's before that let's uh, log the response data first and also let's remove this one log out right now let's log in again let's see the response console so token is null error is null right so we should do this if response dot error equal equal to empty then we can do this one else we can show the error messages correct so we can say this thing Key value we can say uh, invalid and then we can say where is the error message here uh, sorry uh, response data dot response data dot error correct okay so if i submit this what it is saying now login response preview let's refresh this page some password submit cannot read property of null length okay so we'll say if if response data error equal equal to empty then this else if response data dot error if not equal to empty no if error not equal to empty then we will set this one else we will just only push our custom error correct now let's see you can see here there are a lot of things that we need to do when we are doing the development correct so what it is now still going to still going in the if response dot 
error not equal to empty and if equal to empty then not equal to empty is correct why this is going to not equal to empty not sure let me do this one let's work on this example then we will come back submit invalid password null this error but why this error is not showing here error dot push error this one response dot error oh god okay so we have fixed the issue actually the issue was in the condition here right uh, we need to check that if uh, a response dot error is not a string right if it's object then we will uh, then we will uh, you know iterate the values right so now let's check this so here I will add the mobile and password and it's saying invalid password right let's add another one right so it's working correct so if I go to forget password then uh, mobile number right submit and uh, then wrong otp otp not correct or right then password we can say another password save then it will redirect to login now we can use the old we can we will use the old password it will say invalid password now we will enter the right password so it's redirected right so it means our uh, forget password is also working one thing that we need to remember that uh, in the forget password <coughs> i have just uh, applied the otp page not uh, applied the actual sms gateway for the actual sms gateway you can check the sms gateway api right because that is a, a paid thing and we need to uh, concern with the templates and all so that I didn't, I didn't apply I just create the functionality correct so with this uh, our this uh, functionality forgot password is completed right if I missed anything then please let me know in the comments and uh, also add a review about this uh, functionality about this project right next we will start working on the room booking for the logged in user correct so I'm going to push this on a uh, git so you can you can simply go to the github.com slash code artisan lab right and here we have a uh, where is the clinic management system okay I'm not where is the clinic here right oh no not clinic management hotel management sorry so from this first one you can uh, you could follow the steps so the steps is simple you need to just pay the amount and uh, you can uh, get the project if you want to learn then you can follow the videos right uh, one more thing that I will request you that uh, okay I will talk in the next uh, maybe in the next video I will show you something that's a surprise for you right so thank you so much for watching the video and uh, where is the channel so our 8k subscribers completed right thank you so much and uh, we will try to upload uh, videos frequently right and uh, stay tuned with the core artisan lab and if you need the project then please uh, check the github uh, repository right so thank you let's uh, let's meet in the next video and i will try to upload videos as soon as possible thank you so much